Welcome back to Quilts for Miles. My name is Kelly and in today's video we're going to talk about the quilt that is hanging behind me on my design wall. This is one of many projects I've got going at the moment and it will be an unfinished project that will go on eBay. I normally have a handful of projects going at once because then I they all are different levels and different stages of being complete. So that way I will I try to have, consistently have stuff that is going on eBay every couple of days or so. I will show you the quilt behind me a little closer but it's basically um, a quilt called Banana Quilt. The pattern is found in the Perfect Tens Quilt published by It's So Emma which is a company that's owned by the Fat Quarter Shop. It's a very simple project and basically uses 10 inch squares. That's the idea of the Perfect Tens. Every quilt in the book uses 10 inch squares and you cut your 10 inch squares down basically to the measurement. I didn't use 10 inch squares for it, I used half meters and meterage because I have got a box, a basket of homespun fabric that I want to try and use up because I'm not quite too sure where I got them all from because I do get fabrics from various different places and so these ones I'm not quite too sure I got them from so it's harder to get more if I need more. So my goal is to try and use them up and then I just want to get my home spun from Spotlight because then I can, I always know where I get it from and if I need more, if I run out, I can order more very easily because they carry the same colours time and time again. I want to for the next little bit do simple quilts which means just using, using what I have simple fabrics for 2023 I want to try and use up all the fabrics I've got so then in 2024 I can reassess how I store fabrics, how I collect fabric and the main reason for that is because I sew in a garage so when I was collecting fabric I was actually sewing in a room in a, a house but now I sew in a garage just because we have no more room in the house so it's more now of trying to keep mice and rats and bugs and stuff out of my fabric a lot more the things that you get in a garage like it is a completely finished garage but you still get stuff in it so basically 2023 is the year of using everything except for my meterage that is a pattern meter so that's the goal and then i want to reassess in 2024 as to what i quilt i do whether i do more using homespun which then are amish quilts and you let the quilting really shine on them or whether I collect just fat quarter bundles for certain quilts as I want to do them and then use up all that fat quarter bundle and move on to the next thing. I'm not 100% sure yet how I actually want to continue on with sewing and my business in 2024 but luckily that is still a year away and I've got a year to decide how I want to go and that's one reason why I've decided to do, to do this banana quilt in homespun and put it up because I actually want to see how good or how quick a quilt this style actually does sell on eBay. So I've done other quilts for myself using just homespun. A lot of lady day patterns I've used just using homespun because you let the quilting shine and that's the whole idea of a homespun or a plainish quilt is you do let your quilting shine. So for this banana quilt it does call for six different fabrics. So I just put six different homespun fabrics that did go together and I basically started cutting the measurements that it said in the book. So I didn't cut 10 inch squares, I just cut the measurements that it said in the book. I'll turn the camera around now and I'll give you a look at the book that the pattern is in and a rough um, diagram of the finished quilt and also my basket of homespun fabrics that I'm trying to use up this year. It will give you more of an idea of the few colours that I have to choose from and I will add to it this year if there's colours I don't have and I want to use. I will buy more homespun but I'm trying to use mainly what I've got for this year. So as you can see this is the book where you'll find the um, pattern that I'm working on. It's called Perfect Tens and it's published by It's So Emma which is owned by the Fat Quarter Shop. So as you can see this is the quilt that I'm doing it is a really nice book actually because it's spiral bound which means it can lay flat 
and it's so much easier to work with a book that is laying flat. So as you can see, it's really easy to follow directions. A nice colour picture to show you where your colours are going to go. I'm not using all these colours because I don't have them, but I will just place them how I want to place them really. So this is the basket that's got all my homespun in it. Gives you an idea of how big it is. It's not very big, but it is fairly full as you can see. So my goal for 2023 is to use up all of these fabrics that are in here. So as you can see, I store all my fabrics in a Ziploc bag at the moment. And that is mainly because I'm trying to keep any bugs off them. So with inside this basket, there's all fabric. It's all in Ziploc bags. That's basically what I'm trying to use up at the moment. So here's a closer look at the quilt and the blocks I've done so far. It's a very easy quilt pattern. It took me probably about three hours or so to do what you see, 18 blocks I've done. So I've done half of the quilt because I've only got another three colours to do, so I've got another 18 blocks to do. And the pattern does call for sashing in between the blocks here and then in between I think it's here in between the rows here I just haven't done the sash sashing yet I'm doing all my blocks first and then I will cut up the sashing and get that all done Just show you on the table. They're the um, three colours that are left to do. So I've got like a maroni colour. That's a purple. Just the light shows it. It's blue, but it's not. It's a um, deep purple. And then like a pinky colour. So they're the three colours I've got left to do. So if you look at the cool pattern, I've got some colours that are the same and some that aren't. So I've got like a pink, and I've got that light blue aqua colour there. And I've got a green, but my green is a deeper green. And where that's got the red is where I will use the maroon. And probably I will use the purple where the yellow is. And where this charcoal is, I will use my deep blue. So that's how I'm going to work it. So the colours I've got will be in the spot that they're in. And then I'll substitute the three with the other one. So I'm going to call my burgundy red. So it's basically substituting the two, which is the yellow and the charcoal. Now once I get this first line and I know where everything's going, it's pretty easy to put the rest of the quilt together because I just have to look at that and place. So put look for that blue and look in the second row it goes and then just place it there basically. So that's what I'm working on currently at the moment for eBay. And in my next video will be a different quilt because I said I do have a few projects on the go for eBay. Keeps my mind active and I don't get as bored doing the same quilt because some quilts do take longer than others. So if I'm doing them day in and day out, I'm not really doing a lot for eBay. So that's why you will see um, different projects. But the projects you see for the next few days is what you'll see until one of them's complete. And then I'll swap that one out for another quilt and so forth and so forth. So this banana quilt will probably only get maybe three or so videos. But something like my serpentine web that's a little bit bigger, a little bit more takes a little bit more to get it put together because it's strings and stuff like that. There will be a lot more videos for that sort of quilt before it's completely finished. There will be links in the description for my eBay store, my Instagram. 2023 I'm trying to post a bit more on Instagram as well. Um, so yeah, those two links will be in the description box for if you want to go and check out our eBay shop and our Instagram page. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you'll consider to subscribe to my channel and to share this video with any of your quilting friends. 
until my next video have a blessed day and I'll see you next time